are so happy that we had this conversation because it has uncovered so many things that so many people are doing. You've been calibrating to what you think other people think instead of only deciding what you want and then calibrating to the way that your inner being is thinking about. It. Now think about this. Oh, stay with us. We know we're going around this the long way, but you're never going to be the same afterwards. So just hang in here. So think about this. So you're living your life and somebody is rude to you and you didn't like it. It was disrespectful and didn't feel good. And you know, they don't feel good in it. It doesn't feel good to be like that, but you don't pity them and you don't hate them. They just are where they are. And that's okay because you embrace diversity. You came for the diversity. So you don't have judgment about it. You're not pushing any of it away. It just is. That's a rude person. That's what your inner being is saying. That's a rude person. I like that person. It's a rude person. That's fine. Your inner being is saying rude. I love that person though. Not pushing it away, not bringing it home, not co-creating with it, not even going out to lunch with it, <laughs> acknowledging it, but don't want rude. What do I want? I want consideration. I want not confusion, clarity, not scarcity consciousness, abundance consciousness. You're going through life and you're defining without even knowing the precision and perfection of your sifting and sorting and your inner being, your inner being just loves walking through life with you, just loves you picking and choosing and loves the definition that you are launching into your vortex. So your inner being knows you, knows you, knows you, adores you, and focuses on all this pure positive you-ness that your inner being has always and only known. In other words, when you were rotten, your inner being didn't notice. Your inner being looked the other way if you were ever rude. Or, your inner being is only focused upon what you are defining as wanted. You came from source energy, your pure positive energy. Feel the bigness of this attraction of what you're looking for. Your inner being knows you, knows you, knows you, knows you, and is focused on what you want and knows where every little piece of everything that you want is. So sometimes it's just a glance over there that will please you. Sometimes it's a noticing something in the window. Sometimes it's actually going to a movie. There's something really, sometimes it's just hearing a word and wondering what it means. In other words, your inner being knows you and is you and is calling on your behalf, all cooperative components to all things that matter to you. Oh, a relationship is way high on that list. Way, way, way high on the list. So. Here's our question to you. You going to calibrate to your inner being or to what somebody that doesn't even know what you've been putting in your vortex. This person has no idea how perfect you are, but your inner being has picked this person out and has already told you. And that's why you feel this way about that. Did you get just a little closer to being willing to let yourself go to some of those things that you feel? Are you a little less about Calibrating. Well, what do you think about this girlfriend? What do you think about this? Well, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? It's exhausting what everybody thinks because what they're thinking doesn't have anything to do with you. They don't even have the capacity to listen to you very long. Most of them, their mind was wandering while you were speaking your last <laughs> sentence to them. They don't know. They don't know. And we don't mean to be mean, but they don't care. They don't care like that. They don't care. You see, but when you have that feeling when you know, when you know, when you know, and you move in the direction of that, ah, that's the way you can be or do or have anything that you choose. You all have a vibrational escrow that you should very well be cashing in the vibrational chips for. In other words, you've been asking for stuff and these thoughts are ready to turn to things, but you've got something that you've got to do different than you've been doing. And you just witnessed a long conversation, a few of them here today of why it's not easy to feel different. So what's going to make it easier to get there? 
First, you got to understand that how you feel is how you feel and how you feel is what you get. Next, you got to understand that the better it feels, the more you're going to like it when it comes fully fleshed out. When these thoughts actually turn to things and every thought eventually will, you give enough thought to whatever it is, it will become something wanted or not. So the more thought that you give to it, the more it fleshes out the more you will feel it. And so if we've convinced you that you gotta be so selfish that you're just not willing to go down any road that doesn't feel good, even in your own mind. That's why the other day it just shocked Esther as she realized that she was thinking about having a conversation with someone and she was arguing with what they were going to say to her. She had an opinion about what they were going to do and she wasn't even in the room with them yet. And in that moment of a sort of asking for a little bit of clarity, we said to her, Esther, what do you wish more for? To have an opinion or to have an intention? An opinion or an intention? Because my opinion is he might not choose me. But my intention is, I have chosen him. <laughs> my intention is, my inner being guided me here. I've been clear about this. I've lived enough life to know. Can you feel the difference? Yeah, we think you can. The other day, Esther was roaming around a big house by herself, talking to Jerry, who croaked 11 years ago. And mostly it's okay, but that day it wasn't. And so she sat down to write with him. She types in her computer, relaxes, and then he writes back. And she said, I'm lonely. <laughs> she wasn't faking. She was lonely. And then she said, I'm just going to sit here. What say you? She says, what do you think about that? And then he said, Esther, almost Esther, do you think you're lonely or bored? Nestor thought, oh, I'm bored. I'm bored and I'm blaming you. Which is why I thought I was lonely. Because I was never bored when you were around because we were always doing something. And so you can get to this point where am I alone or am I in the process of co-creating with someone? You just have to decide where you are in the journey. When you get out on the road, Esther loves a road trip. And when you get out on the road and you just start out, you might be 400, you might be up thousands of miles, but you might be four or 500 miles from where you're going and you don't feel lack of being where you intend to be. You feel on the way. And you don't just stubbornly say, well, I'm not where I want to be, so I'll just put it in park and I'll just sit here. You don't do that either. You follow the path of least resistance. You start heading in the direction of where you want to be. And you start noticing fun things along the way. And you're glad that you have this journey. And it doesn't matter that you're not where you're going to end up because it's nice here and it's nice here and it's nice here and it's nice here and it's nice here. And in the moving through time and space, you have all of these opportunities for your inner being to hook you up with things that you've been noticing that you want. Have you ever noticed? Jerry and Esther were driving out across the desert one day and they traveled in a big old bus towing a car behind it for many, many years. And there was a restaurant that they were going to eat at. And there must have been hundreds of billboards that they passed by and the only one Esther saw was the restaurant where they were planning to eat. Now, that's what we're talking about. Your inner being knows what you're looking for. And when you're feeling good, that's what your inner being is going to be pointing out clues clues keys paths and after a while you just never ever ever feel lack of something that hasn't happened yet instead you feel anticipation of how it's going to show up and that's why we use the term surprise and delight and Esther says I get how I could be delighted but why am I surprised we say because you don't know you don't know what your inner being knows 
You don't even know for sure what your level of resistance is, but your inner being does. You don't even know what thoughts would lead you to a thought, to a thought, to a thought, but your inner being does. You don't know what path will lead you to what you want to see, but your inner being does. And when you're feeling good and you're loose and happy, then your inspiration kicks in and you live such a good life that people look at you and say, what magic do you have? And you just say, I just don't worry about stuff anymore. I know I did step one. You don't explain it to them. I think you're crazy. But what you mean is, I know I've asked and I got this humongous team of non-physical ghosts looking for ways to surprise and delight me. And they all know that the path of most allowance is not the shortest, quickest path. It's the most rewarding path. It's the most fun path. It's the most exhilarating path. It's the most juicy path. Yeah. So focus on and embrace the, um, embrace the incompletion the of your eternal life. <laughs> the constant incompletion of your never ending unfolding life. When you get that, then, oh, you got it made. Yeah. And the attraction in the moment. It's always there. You never turn that law of attraction thing off. Your point of attraction, it never turns off. It doesn't turn off. When you sleep, it slows it down a little bit. You're radiating and marbles are matching up. Never endingly. Never endingly. But remember, there's you. There's your inner being. This is a powerful point of attraction. Your inner being has gathered up everything you want. Your inner being has gathered up everything you want and is guiding you to the path of most allowance, which is the path of most satisfaction, which is the path of most, you're really going to like it. Yeah. We know you heard that. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.